What's up, YouTube? This is Biased in the X of A9, guys. Some sad but major news has just dropped. It looks like the coronavirus claimed another victim, and this is going to be the 2019-2020 competitive season of the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. The World Championship canceled. Um, dueling players that qualify for this year's World Championship are going to be getting invites to next year's. Sad to see, but it's actually good on Konami that they're actually doing it. That's actually going to increase the field for that World Championship and dual links, so that's going to be pretty interesting. The World Championship qualifiers, South America, Central America, North America, all canceled. Had to be done. Anybody who earned invites to the, this year's World Championship qualifiers are going to be invited to next year's. Again, bigger fields, which means these events are going to be massive. All right? I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to play out. Um, national championships are postponed. YCS Pasadena is postponed, so I'm guessing the YCSs that were supposed to be held here um, in North America, they're going to probably be pushed to next season. Okay, makes sense. That's pretty good. I know that they're probably going to, oh, the national championships are also going to be postponed as well, so hopefully sometime this year we're going to see national championships. Um. So, yeah. The 2019-2020 season is over. We are now officially in the off season until we can start regular play. Um, they don't mention anything about regionals, but with the way things are going, I don't think places are going to be holding the regionals until I know they. I know Konami originally had May 10th as a date um, to restart things up. Um, I don't know if that date still is going to be. Um, set in stone considering the way things are going, especially in different areas here in North America. There's a lot of different hot zones um, out there, so it, I don't think it would be fair if certain places could start holding regionals after May 10th while the bigger cities can't. Uh, I just don't see the fairness. I think this is pretty much going to put the 2019-2020 season to bed. Um, what... It's going to happen to our game. Well, predominantly, we are going to have to play online to be, compete on any type of tournaments. Uh, I know certain YouTubers have announced them through their have announced tournaments through their own channels. Simos at uh, Crush Card Cup, I think, is going to start this Friday. Not only that, um, but the way I see it, it's also going to pretty much balance the field now. Um, if you want to take a look at the silver lining in this cloud. It's going to balance the field between money players and budget players, primarily because without no physical tournaments to actually need to buy product for, the prices of products should drop down, and that includes the prices of the chase cards in those sets. So budget players could intentionally, if they save their money, go after play sets of certain chase cards, buy them, and improve their decks, and then when physical play comes up, hey, the field just evened out. So, that's something to actually look forward to. I know the North America, we just pushed back our release of Eternity Code to the beginning of June, not the beginning of May. Um, it does make sense to have all this stuff happening um, with what's going on in the world. Better to buy product and singles and have them shipped to you rather than go to the um, events that could potentially wind up having contaminating a lot more people. I mean, it's... It, this is the right thing Konami's doing. Um, a lot of people might challenge the fact that if they could have done their championships online for the WCQs and then possibly maybe consider doing a physical world championship either in August or a later date or do it online at this time. I mean, that could have been a way, but this is Konami's game. We just have to play with it, and they're pulling the plug on this year's World Championship, so we got to roll with the punches, play online. We can actually buy products, keep the game alive, and hopefully when next season starts up, we're ready to go. All right, guys. It's sad to say, but yeah, this is what the reality we're facing in this world. Guys, just please... Follow the guidelines of wherever you live. Stay safe, stay healthy, um, and keep your game up. And guys, hopefully until next time, peace.